this video, we're going to look at standard form, add addition and subtraction of numbers that are in standard form. So whenever you're doing that, in general, there's no easy rule to help you do it, um, unless the powers for the 10 are exactly the same. So for instance, if I had this, 9 times 10 to the 5 plus 4 times 10 to the 4, I personally would write this number out in full, this number out in full, and then work it out. So 9 times 10 to the 5, well, it's going to be 9 followed by 5 zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is a 4 followed by 4 zeros, so 4 followed by 4 zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4. Notice how I've lined them up, so then write them like that, then add them, 0, 0, 0, 0, 4, 9. So the answer here then would be 940,000. If we wanted to write that in standard form, it would be 9.4, so 9.4 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So whenever you've got the numbers in standard form, um, sometimes it's easier just to write them out in full and then add them or take them away that way. If the powers are exactly the same, you can just add the numbers at the front. Okay, But make sure that your answer is in standard form, so you may need to change it. Let's have a look at another example. Okay, So this time you've got 8 times 10 to the power of 6, subtract 7 times 10 to the power of 5. So we've got an 8 followed by 6 zeros, so it's 8 million, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And a 7 followed by 5 zeros, so 7 followed by 5 zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we're going to subtract them this time, so that's going to give you 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And then borrow the 1, so 3, 7. So the answer is 7.3 million, or 7,300,000, and we'd write it in standard form as 7.3 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, uh, I'm just going to show you now uh, how to do it in your calculator, and also what would happen if the powers were exactly the same. So this time we've got 8.1 times 10 to the 4 plus 3.5 times 10 to the 4. So this time notice that the powers for the 10 are exactly the same. So you can do it in two ways. You can either write out and fill like before. So 8.1 times 10 to the 4. So we're going to have 8, 1, put a couple of zeros. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's going to be 81,000. So 8.1, 1, 2, 3, 4. And 3.5 times 10 to the 4 is going to be 4. 35,000, let's just double check, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you add the two numbers together, so it's going to give you 0, 0, 0, 6, and 11. Okay, and then that would be 1.16 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so we can just um, write them out in full like before and add them together. Um, or also, notice that if you do 8.1 plus 3.5, 8.1 plus 3.5 is 11.6. So you can just add the two numbers at the front if the powers of the 10 are exactly the same. So you can get 11.6 times 10 to the power of 4. Now unfortunately this isn't in standard form because it needs to have it needs to be a number between 1 and 10. So you need to make this number 10 times smaller and this number 10 times bigger. So that would give you 1.16 times 10 to the power of 5. So notice that the two answers are exactly the same. So whenever you've got um, powers of 10, which are the same, so 10 to the 4 and 10 to the 4, for instance, you can just add the numbers at the front of the numbers in standard form and then change it into standard form if you need to. So here we've got an exam question. It says, work out the value of 6 times 10 to the 8 plus 4 times 10 to the 7. So again, you could just quickly jot them out in full and add them together. Um, alternatively, uh, because it was a calculator question, let's just show you how to do it in the calculator. So you've got 6 times 10 to the power of 8. So 6 times 10 to the power of, so the standard form button, 8 plus 4 times 10 to the power of 7. And then you just press equals, and you get your answer, which is 6... Um, Six four zero 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 zero. Alternatively, six point four times ten to the power of. So we've got the decimal point here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So your answer is six point four times ten to the power of eight. Uh, notice here that six times ten to the eight and four times ten to the seven. Well, if you were to write these out in full. You'd have a 6, and then going across one then would be the 4, so that's why it's 6.4 times 10 to the 8. 